Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Disney Legacy Challenge Journer Generation Generation 3 uh, which is Snow White Part 16. I almost said Toy Story and we're 16 parts in now. Um if you guys watch my Perfect Genetics Challenge, I recently, like last week sometime, I moved two dogs in with the the uh, heir and her husband, uh, the heir's sister. We have two dogs in, and one of the the two dogs are mates, and they are now expecting puppies, so I can adopt a puppy in that challenge. Well, I've actually done the same thing here. I put two dogs in Ella and Noah's home. They actually already have one dog and I'd completely forgotten. But unlike my perfect genetics challenge where the dogs are both the same breed, in this challenge there are two different breeds. They are both big dogs. Um, but other than that, they are two separate breeds. Um, I will not say which, but I just got the mom dog in this, this series pregnant just a couple minutes ago before I started recording. Um, the dad's name is Bo, and he is hyper loyal and skittish, and the mom, her name is Dolly, and she is friendly, hunter, and loyal. Now, both of the dogs, I looked up the kind of traits that these dogs would have, you know, like, just, I put the breed, traits and it came up with you know oh, like this dog is it can be it's very playful and it's a hunter and you know very friendly and great with children and stuff like that like that would that was dolly's breed but with Bo, i could have gone skittish or aggressive and i decided to go skittish because there's dolly in the house even though they're mates and there's also the other dog which is apparently named ted so i didn't want uh, Bo starting fights and getting in trouble and stuff like that. So. We need to go get Baron. Not Baron. This is Aaron. We're not calling him Baron. We're calling him Aaron. Uh, and we're going to come get him ready for the day. He's going to wake up any moment anyways. So, might as well. But I am doing this because I think that these stray mods either don't work or never have worked or <laughs> might have you know said they did and never did I don't know but they aren't working and so that's really annoying which means we can't get strays which also means you have to change our lifetime wish I don't know what to um I'm really hesitant to change it because knowing my luck I would change it and then a stray dog or a stray cat or something would show up and I'd be like, are you serious? Did I not just change the switch because unlike Sims 4, it does not save it um, if you were to choose another, as it's called in the Sims 4 Aspiration, uh, the lifetime wishes in the Sims 3 do not save should you decide to change. So. Um, also, we have about a thousand simoleons. I don't remember wh how much we had when we left off in the last part, but we got money now, so I did not do that because I know we were not, we didn't have it even. I don't know why it is completely even right now. Um, I don't know what we've done or what we earned or whatever because I forgot how we even got the money. Um... But something happened that gave us exactly a thousand simoleons, so... Um, I'm also, I'm not gonna worry about buying any dog stuff until we actually have a puppy. And I know, you know, I'm gonna be, oh gosh, I love puppies, so cute, I love puppies, you know, do my normal thing that I do whenever we have puppies, but... Um... You know, I, I wanted a puppy, but then we're going to have the puppy and I'm going to get to the puppy and be like, Ugh. Are you serious? I'm ready for this puppy to not be puppy anymore. 
so and she's waddling now and I did put her in another outfit it doesn't really suit her style I feel I feel it's way too fancy for her uh, Jessie's always been on the casual side but oh well I need to make sure Andy doesn't try to feed Aaron because he probably will so we're gonna get him occupied with something else but yeah I feel like this outfit is way too fashionable for Jessie she's normally you know very very comfy casual and this is not very casual she's in heeled boots <laughs> I always put these boots with this outfit though so Maybe he's gonna pee his pants soon too he's not happy I was building a house earlier recording it I think I had at least an hour and a half worth of footage I had the whole outside of the house done and then my game just suddenly closes like I don't have a crash a crash a crash message or anything it just suddenly ups and close up ups and closes I'm like what what and so now I've lost the whole house and I'm really upset about it it really ticked me off So now I have to start over. But there were some little like complications that I ran into that it wasn't going exactly how I wanted. So maybe it was a good thing. That, or when I do it over again, I know what to avoid. And I was also, I kept zoning out. Well, I shouldn't say zoning out. I kept getting distracted. Um, so then I'd suddenly look back to my computer and be like, oh, wait, I'm, I'm recording. is our garden our small garden oh here okay we're gonna have to go tend plants here in a second we're going to take Aaron let him out um then we're gonna come tend our garden and I might give all the vegetables to Andy and have him run to the grocery store to sell them. Um, but then we're going to have Jesse teach him to walk. Because she's family oriented, so it's going to go a lot faster for if she doesn't. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if Andy did something. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have Andy come do it, I guess. I'd prefer Jessie because she'll just get it done quicker, but, you know, what can you do? Come pick him up, please. I actually need to put him down so he can use the bathroom. But we're going to come put him down. Eh. Too far, too far. Too far. Put down Aaron here. And you can come use the bathroom. I mean, he doesn't really need to go, but out of all of his needs, the bladder one is the lowest. Lock that in. Let's see. Have any of you ever played Tomb Raider? Like the the game from 2013. I feel like I've talked about. I've mentioned Tomb Raider. Maybe talked about it before. But I I finished the game like two or three weeks ago. And I've just started the second one, and oh, it's real. They're really good. They are very, very good. And I, I want to start the Uncharted series games. I think they look good. I've heard 
I mean, they're by the same people. Naughty Dog uh, made both Tomb Raider and the Uncharted series, and I'm just... I can't wait to start the uh, Uncharted series. But, but I also want to play The Last of Us, but I hate horror movies. Um, I've never liked them. It's not necessarily that I'm scared, but I've just never liked them. I don't see the appeal of, you know, peeing your pants out of fear. Like, I'm sorry, I don't bring, uh, you know, like, not fear, I guess. Well, yes, fear, you know, when you when you get jump scared. Like, I didn't bring an extra pair of underwear with me to the theater or to my friend's house when they decided to watch horror movies. It's not, pfft. no, I did not bring extra underwear and, you know, pants because I just peed my pants because, you know, I got jump scared really bad. I just, I don't see the appeal of horror movies. Especially, like, the predictable ones. And I'm not saying that every horror movie is predictable, but a lot of them are. Um, but I am scared of the infected in The Last of Us. I am very nervous about them. I think they are very scary looking. I hate anything to do with parasites. Ever since my, um... My old biology teacher, because I have a new biology teacher. Um, ever since my old biology teacher showed us this absolutely disgusting video of some turtle have it that had like parasites growing on his shell and had like barnac like way too many barnacles to be safe growing on like the its underside, and it was just really really nasty watching this person like basically pull the shell apart because of how bad the parasites were. It was just absolutely disgusting. And ever since then, I hate anything to do with parasites. Like, I already think that it's really nasty that, you know, you have some little creature that, like, lives in, you know, another creature's body or something. But it's something cordyceps. Like, the actual parasite is something cordyceps. I, I, the only word I remember is cordyceps. Um, but in real life, it infects and normally small in insects, um, their brain and basically takes over and makes them crawl to high ground where the parasite will then, uh, basically break out of the insect, normally an ant. Uh, out of the ant's like head or something and start expanding like outwards so it can you know spread the parasite even more and that's where they got the inspiration for the infected because they're like they're not zombies um there's even like a level of them i think they're called the runners like that's like it's like stage two or something um where they're like moaning and screeching and it's almost as if you know the human side of them is still like it's almost like it's trapped and it's in their own body and you know they know what's going on they're very conscious of what's happening to them these infected just scare the crap out of me <laughs> but I really want to play the game at the same time so I'm like how badly do I want to play the game do I want to risk you know being <laughs> uh, being a f it's normally when I do get afraid of things it's normally only for like a few nights where, like, I'm afraid to get under the covers in my dark bedroom because I sleep with, like, no light. My room is basically pitch black at night. I'm like, do I even dare risk it? You know, be kind of afraid to fall asleep. And then I normally decide, yeah. And I normally, it's just when I first fall asleep. Then it's good. It's not like I have nightmares about it or anything. Like that, it's just, I don't know. Do we not have any vegetables? Did we not harvest anything? Did I click the wrong thing? I thought I clicked tend garden. Did I not? Possibly? Yeah, I don't know. I suddenly go from talking about Tomb Raider to The Last of Us. Um, I do want to play it though. I don't think I clicked the right thing. Oh, maybe I did. I think I did, actually. And we just don't have anything. That seriously sucks. <laughs> okay. 
But yeah, if any of you have played The Last of Us, let me know how it is. I, w I keep trying to talk my dad into playing it, cause, but it's not really my dad's kind of game. My dad prefers, you know, the Call of Duty games, um, you know, anything that's like first-person shooter, that's my dad's kind of game. Um, why are we going around? What is wrong with this pair of stairs? Nothing, that's what. Why, and why do they always go all the way to the end? I don't understand. <sighs> oh well. You know, I think we're actually going to have Jessie take a bath. I've, I had her taking baths, like, all the time when she was pregnant with Aaron. And I think we're going to just do the same thing. Yeah, if you've played Last of Us, let me know how scary they are. I like the pictures freak me out whenever I see them. They they got like, you know, the fungus cuz that's what the cordyceps is. It's a, it's a fungus. And this is another reason why I hate mushrooms. <laughs> Just add this to the list of reasons why I hate mushrooms. Why would you ever want to eat fungus? You know, cuz that's what a mushroom is. It's a fungus. Why would you want to eat that and then you got you know this new infected parasite thing in this game that comes from a fungus which is a mushroom like no thank you the pictures yeah the pictures freak me out but i still really want to play the game i already know like how the first 30 minutes of it goes but, you know it's fine Mm. I'm gonna grab a drink really quick. <clears throat> well, I'm all out of soda now. <laughs> I don't drink soda very often. <clears throat> I'd rather have lemonade, uh, but not plain lemonade. Plain lemonade makes my throat hurt. But I like flavored lemonades, like strawberry, raspberry, I love raspberry lemonade, uh, cherry, I love cherries, like, pretty much any way, shape, or form. So, except for dried cherries, I don't like anything when it's dried. I don't like raisins, but I like grapes. I don't like cranberries at all. Those are nice, I don't like dried banana, like... Doesn't there like dried banana thingies? I don't like those. I don't like dried apples. That's about it that I can think of. For some reason, thinking of apples made me think of avocados, which made me think of my supper because I had um had soup and a sandwich that my friend actually made because. I was feeling like having soup and a sandwich from, um, you know, a restaurant nearby, and it was, it was pickup, but she made my sandwich, because she works there, my friend does, so I was texting with her about it, because I didn't really get to say much, because when I got there, I waved at her, and she waved back, and someone shouted, they're like, you know, they shouted her last name, get back to work, and then get back to work, and, yeah. But I've been texting her, she hasn't seen any of it yet, she still actually hasn't gotten off her shift, probably won't until about, for another hour or so, um, uh, but I texted her, and I'm like, you know, so you made my sandwich, huh? No wonder it tasted funny and stuff like that. Cause I hadn't actually realized what she was working. I thought she was actually at salads until, you know, before I left and saw her messing with bread and stuff. That she was actually making the sandwiches. But, yeah, you know, that's why my sandwich tastes so funny. And because you made it and you touched it and you know, just giving her crap. Okay, 
Okay, these guys are actually doing fine, and despite the fact that I want Jesse to be working with Aaron, I think we're actually going to have Andy teach him to talk as well. And perhaps in the next part, we can have a birthday party for little Mr. Aaron. Maybe not a party. <laughs> Maybe we'll just get him a cake and have a little a home party. You know, to be honest, I wish that's what I did <laughs> for my birthday, that it was just, you know, my, my, it would be even better if it was just my parents and I, <laughs> you know, send my brother to a friend's house or something, because my brother has a knack for making things all about him. You know, you say one thing, and my brother's suddenly like, oh yeah, I've done that, or I know someone who's done that, or stuff like that so my timer went off I don't know if you actually heard it but I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe sorry for my babbling about you know nasty parasites that was so off topic I do apologize for that but you know I don't I, I see that I shouldn't have you know really been babbling about something that doesn't you know have anything to do with the game but at the same time when there's not much going on in the game it's better than me being completely silent so you know I think it's okay but anyways uh, thank you guys and I'll see you guys on my next video bye guys bye guys